What's up, uh, Operation Android here, and I managed to get my hands on a Nexus 7. Shout out to my boy Loop. And in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating Pokemon Diamond running on the Asteroid. So I'm going to go ahead and open the Asteroid and go to my Pokemon Diamond file, which I have under Downloads. And there it is. This is the Asteroid 1.2.7, and Pokemon Diamond runs fairly well on. The asteroid. Anyways, I'm going to be playing from a saved file that I already have in the game. And as you can see, it runs at about 17 to 18 frames out of 30. And it's an extremely good emulator because it has a lot of settings. And it allows you to add cheats, manage the sound, the filter you want to use, and a lot of, of great stuff. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and shut off the sound so I can get some better performance out of the actual emulator. And now as you can see, I'm getting much better frames per second. And I'm actually using some cheats so that I can get better performance. For example, I have a bike that I can use to navigate through the game much faster. As well as I have a tech speed modification. Anyways. If I go into my settings here, you'll see that I have the frame skip on 5, which I think is the best way to put the frame skip on to get the best performance. I recommend playing without sound, but if you do enjoy playing with sound, then go ahead and play with it. I also have um, a text speed modifier cheat, like I said earlier. So as you can see here, once I've encountered this random trainer, you'll see that the text runs extremely fast, maybe at the same speed as the regular game, thanks to the text speed modification cheat. And now you'll see that when you're actually in battle, it runs extremely fast, almost at normal pace, as you're watching right now. It looks like it's running perfectly. But there is some problems with not the emulator, but the device compatibility. As you can see, it looks like the screen is tearing in some parts, like you'll just see some lines cross right above the screen and things like that. But of course this can be fixed in later updates to come and this update has been improving extremely fast with frequent updates helping its speed as well as compatibility with other devices. This actual emulator, the Asteroid, works with um, better with devices that are newer I guess you could say with, with the, what I mean is with better hardware and overall the simulator is really get great to play early DS games and what I mean by that is to play games that came out when the DS initially came out like Pokemon Diamond this game runs extremely well on DS Droid very playable if you have an up-to-date device like the Nexus 7 tablet Anyways, as you can see, the battling was extremely smooth and quick. And now navigating through the actual game, you'll see that it's fast as well when you're riding a bike. And I also have another cheat here when I'm in random encounters. The cheat I have is so that I can kill random encounters in one shot. And I have this so I can run through the game faster. And this way, I'll be able to gain experience, but at the same time, get through things quicker. Um, this cheat only works when you're in battle, so that's what's great about it. It's that I attack, and then when I click select, it'll kill it in one shot. And that's really cool about that cheat. And anyways, Pokemon Diamond runs really great on the Nexus 7 using the Asteroid, which is a free Nintendo DS emulator on the Google Play Store. And yeah, overall, it's a really great emulator. You can run through this game extremely quickly if you add the cheats for the bicycle, the text speed modifier, 
and all that great stuff. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Anyways, if you would like to learn how to do this for yourself, then click on the Nexus 4 at the top left or follow the link in the description. As well as, if you already have the Asteroid and you would like to learn how to improve the performance and add cheat, then click on the Galaxy S3 at the bottom right or follow the link in the description. As well as, follow me on Twitter, add me on PSN, and if you like this video and like to see more, click on that green subscribe button. Thank you for clicking on that green subscribe button and welcome to the operation.